everyone. Um, thank you for joining me today. I'm actually doing something a little bit different um, today. Um, if you know me well, I actually am a really avid collector of Lego. Now, I know Lego is an extremely pricey hobby to have, especially the sets nowadays and especially the sets I want and I try and get. Um, but I wanted to hit on something that I've recently bought and just try my hand at reviewing it and see where we go from there. So I've had a lot of Lego sets in the past few, the past few months, and it's really become it's really become a really nice hobby of mine, and I really enjoy building them. Um, as a grown bloke, <laughs> um, I'm 30, and I still enjoy this stuff. Um, I don't care how old you are. I think Lego nowadays it's definitely moved on from where where I've been. Um, in terms of when I was younger and it was seen as definitely a kid's um, kids pastime. While nowadays you've got TV shows, you've got, you know, you've got films, games, you've got, you've got all sorts of things surrounding Lego. But the one I want to talk to you about today is the Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck. Okay, this one I actually got um, out of my birthday money uh, just a few days ago, actually. And I, I wasn't aware, I was aware this was around. I just didn't, wasn't aware that this thing was actually out as close as it was to my birthday. So I, um, I was very lucky. So as you can see from here, we're now, as of recording, um, and this is live now, what you're seeing now, this is the 4th of May, just, um, so about three o'clock in the afternoon almost um, and it's still out of stock and this only came out on the on may 1st i believe so sunday it came out and me and my fiance quickly nipped to smith's which is our most local um toy shop i would say in terms of being able to get the the best lego deals and, and what what stock lego has in smith's and we got in there at about half past ten on sunday um, knowing that this thing would probably sell out quite quickly and went in there and I managed to snag myself one of two of these and I'm very very happy that I got myself this one this is a really really good build really nice and simple and um, love 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 the detail on this one as well I actually am not um, I actually think the tall neck could have been a little bit bigger Actually, I know the price, the price one we'll get to in a month, but for the price of the thing, I actually think the tall neck's just, I would say five to 10 centimeters too short, which may not sound a lot, but size is everything with these things, especially when it comes to Lego, especially with the price that comes with Lego. But the bit I really enjoyed about this, this build is the base. The base is fantastic. So you've got all the flora and fauna, You've got um, a watcher, which you can you can swap out the the eyes, you know, to tell if it's it's hunting, and the little figure of Aloy as well is absolutely um, absolutely brilliant and a great a great little scene stealer there as well. I love a little a, a little staff that she's got as well. But I've I've played Horizon of the Bidden West. I've actually um, I did a review on it um, a few I think a month or two ago. Um, gameplay and experience. I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and just knowing that. It's great to see Lego finally, you know, looking at video games as another form of inspiration for their sets. So I'm really hoping we get some more sets of these. I mean, I'd love to see one of the Thunder Jaws um, done in Lego just to just as a companion piece to this one. Um, but yeah, really, really stand out. And actually, my favourite thing of the whole set, most people I know will say the toilet, but I love it. I just love the tree. The fact that they added the tree and the, the little light there is absolutely fantastic. But getting on to the price point as well, 70 quid, I thought it was, I'd say about, it's about 10 pound too expensive. Okay, I know Lego sets nowadays are expensive, they, they are overpriced, but considering the, the, the type of plastic, the manufacturing process, the marketing, all that stuff, and obviously the, the deals, it would not have been cheap for Lego to do this set. So I understand why the prices are expensive, but I just thought it could have been 10 pounds cheaper in an idealistic world. Okay, so 60 quid would have been great there. It's actually what's stopping me for, from getting um, this set down here, the Sonic the Hedgehog set, that briefly touched you on this one. I actually really want this set, and I've got some plans to to actually make a really cool display of this, but 60 pounds for the set, it's, it's, it's pushing it a little bit too much um, for the Sonic the Hedgehog set, I feel. Um, considering how big this thing is, it's not that big at all. I was thinking more of a 40 quid price point. 
And as well, I have actually got a £25 gift card um, <laughs> for, for LEGO. So, you know, I, I don't really want to waste it on anything like this. But yeah, no, moving back to the Tall Neck, um, fantastic set, um, great build, really nice and easy. Love the details on the base and a, a great addition for any LEGO collector.